What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna to be taking a look real quick at how to prepare our reels for storage after a phenomenal week of catching big fish out on the surf, getting salt water all over these things. We're gonna take a look at what it takes to keep these things lasting for multiple trips so they don't end up rusted and stiff when we pull them back out of storage um, for our next trip. So stick with us and we'll take a quick look at what it takes to keep these things alive. All right, you guys, step one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this reel and we're gonna spray it off of water directly on top. All right, you guys, so you wanna make sure you spray your reel directly over the top from the side. You don't ever wanna spray your reel from the bottom. That's gonna to knock too much grease off the inside of your reel. You wanna make sure to spray from the top only. That's gonna get all that salt water off. Um, you can also spray the sides and everything and give it a quick spin to get off the excess water and you're ready to go on to the next step. All right, you guys, our next step is gonna be WD-40. Um, I'm gonna hit all the different moving parts of on this reel with some WD-40 and that's gonna help draw out any extra salt water that may be hiding in these joints um, that might cause some rust. So we'll simply just Hit all the moving parts. And then simply, I'm gonna spin it, work that WD-40 in, and then we'll simply take our rag that we had earlier, and we're just gonna wipe the excess WD-40 off of this reel. Now this might be a little messy, but I promise you that it works. Last but, last but not least, guys, we have drag. Drag is one of the most important things when it comes to fighting big fish on the beach, but it also is one of the most important things when it comes to storing our reels. Um, when we store our reels, we want to back that drag almost completely out um, so that it doesn't actually deteriorate our drag over the months that it's going to spend sitting in the closet. Um, once you've backed that out, you're perfectly fine then to put it in your bag, put it away. Um, but that way, when you go to fight your big fish next time on the beach, um, you're not disappointed with the, your drag being lessened because it's been tightened for months on months, not getting used. So it's a simple thing, but it really does prolong the life of our drag, um, which helps us in the long run when it comes to catching these big fish off the beach um, over many, many trips. Hey you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you have found something useful in this video. This is just the simple way that I've found to keep my reels alive after multiple trips um, in the surf. Um, if you guys do something different, um, leave it in the comments below. Um, I would love to see the different methods and ways that you guys keep your reels alive um, over this many seasons in the salt water. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See you guys.